my channel. Today I'm going to try to teach you Hinahanap Anam Kitab by River Maya. I'm going to try to keep this uh, as simple as possible. We have six chords. Um, five of them are open chords, so they're easy. But we do have one bar chord, a B flat chord. But I'll try to show you how to play that, okay? Start with a G, third fret. So the third fret, uh, middle finger on a third fret. If you remember that, it's easier. Remember, middle finger on a third fret, it's easier to memorize G. Then E minor, just leave your um, index finger there and just move this down here. So from G to E minor. Okay. Now A minor, so from E minor to A minor, I just leave the middle finger there. And then D. If you remember to put your uh, middle finger on the second fret, the, the thinnest string, that's a good way to remember how to play a D chord. And then the other chords that you need to learn are um, A. So uh, for this song, play A like this. Okay. And then when you go to B, or B flat, you just move this one fret up, and then you bar the first fret. If that's gonna too hard to do, um, you can just try to play this note. And if you can manage to just mute this, not make it sound, uh, if you can manage to not make it ring out, then it's good. So you don't have to bar. But if you can bar it, that's good. Okay, so that's G, E minor, A minor, D, then you have A, and then B flat. Of course, you can play A like this if you're used to it, or this way. And also, you can play B flat like this if you if you prefer. It's muted, or this way. I'm just trying to show you the easiest way if you're a beginner. Now, before I try to show you the strumming pattern, let's play the song first and uh, just play it simple and try to follow along first. Um, for the intro, we have um, two chords. We have B flat. We start with B flat, the hardest chord, and then you go to A. Okay, so we start with B flat, and then we go to A. It goes something like this: one, two. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, mute. Then when we go to the um, the verse, A goes something like this. Uh, Dick said, go, two, three, four, one, repeat, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, three, four, E minor again, one, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, and then D, one, two, three, four, and then G, one, G. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. E minor. One, two, three, four. E minor again. One, two, three, four. A minor. One, two, three, four. This time you repeat the A minor. One, two, three, four. And then D. So the first time you play A minor, you only uh, you only play it for four counts. The second time you play A minor, you play it for um, eight counts. So uh, let's try that again. Here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, 
say oh you've got that down, here's the strumming pattern that you can use for the rest of the song. Uh, it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Here it is slower. Here it is with the chords. fast uh, and you practice it, it would sound like this. So this is how I play the intro. I just I just do the strumming pattern that we just learned. So the strumming pattern. And then go to A. One and two and mute. One and two and mute. Okay. And uh, I think that's it, guys. The verse is the same as the chorus. Um, you can play the song with pretty much what I've taught you so far. Peace.